Hi. We're going to learn how axes uh, correspond to the different values for the gyroscope and how we can use um, these different component values to understand how Pocket Lab can move in three dimensions. So I have my, um, my software running, my app running, uh, and it's paired to the sensor. So I'm going to click on the gyroscope. and we're going to be able to see uh, the data coming through. And if you notice that there are three components to uh, the data, there's an X, Y, and Z component. Uh, and this corresponds to uh, red, blue, and green. And I have a set of axes here to represent uh, those values. So X is my uh, red arrow, Y is my blue arrow, and Z is my green arrow. And we need three components to represent motion in three-dimensional space because, um, as we'll illustrate, um, we can rotate about any of these axes. Uh, so the uh, axes correspond to uh, the sensor uh, in this orientation with uh, X, Y, X being the red, Y being the blue, and green being um, Z. So, if I'm, if we look at the data and my hand's not uh, super steady, we can see uh, that there, all of the values are sort of hovering around um, zero degrees per second. And what our gyroscope measures is angular velocity. So it's measuring the rate of rotation. So if I were to rotate my sensor about this axis, the the y-axis, I would do so by um, rotating it like that. So that would be a positive rotation about the y-axis. Um, and this is a negative rotation about the y-axis. And that's just a convention so that we can uh, represent these values uh, with positive and negative numbers. So I have here a little turntable. And we can use this to look at the uh, the output of the gyroscope. So again, when I'm oriented um, like this, I'm, and I rotate the turntable, if I rotate it um, according to the right-hand rule, if you put your thumb in line with the axis um, and, and curl your fingers around, if I rotate it this direction, we should see a positive um, angular rotation. And so I'm going to do it slowly at first. And you can see that, for the most part, our angular rotation is only about the z-axis. And we're at somewhere around 20 degrees per second. So that's pretty slow. Now, if I rotate it in the opposite direction, we should see a negative value. Because our convention is that um, when we're rotating uh, about the, the negative direction, we're going this uh, clockwise, and that corresponds to a negular, negative angular rotation. So I'm going to rotate it very slowly, and you can see that we're traveling at about, uh, about minus 30 degrees per second. So uh, we're measuring um, angular velocity. So what that means is the faster we spin it, um, the higher uh, our angular velocity is. So now I'm going to spin it a little bit faster, and we should see um, we should see the values go go higher than in our previous run. And if you can see on the screen there, we're at about 200 degrees per second. Stop. Now, if I wanted to so look at rotation in a different axis, or I just wanted to understand the orientation of the sensor, I could, let's say I can flip Pocket Lab to uh, rotate about the z-axis. So if I flip the sensor, I should also flip my coordinate system. And now I'm going to rotate about um, the green arrow, which represents the z-axis. So you should see now the green value is what increases as we rotate the turntable. Let's try it.
We're rotating in the positive direction. And you can see it increase. And then we will rotate in the opposite direction, the negative direction. And there you go. That's how we represent um, angular rotation in three dimensions using um, a coordinate system and three values. Thank you.